Yeah. The dash is digi, the schedule busy, my head in a hoodie, my shorty a goodie, my cousins are crazy, my cousins like boogie. He's gotta get this one in. Hans, five to shoot. Let's it fly! Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy Mark TV, and we back with another video, man. Today, we're about to talk about my son Shamari Pons, sophomore guard, averaging about 21.6 points per game, 4.9 assists, 5, and 5 rebounds per game. Now, I gotta tell you something before I start this video, man. I think capped. I'm, I'm capping, yo. I don't think Shamari Pons is gonna go undrafted. I think he's gonna be the most underrated player in this draft class, yo. This kid has some fire in him. He has. He has it in him. He has that New York toughness. You feel me? Like, if you're from New York, you know. You know how we rock, man. But you already know. My guy is always showing improvement. He's already improving since freshman year. Look at his stats right here. I see he was averaging 17, 3, and 4. Like, my boy's already improving. But you already know he had those big milestone games. His He showed up against Duke and Villanova. In the first game at the time, it was number four ranked Duke. He had 33 points, three assists, four steals, and seven rebounds. And my boy be eating on the defensive side. Like, he's a great off-ball defender. He be getting deflections that leads to fast breaks, lead to his team scoring. Like, I think that's why they won those two games. And against the future national champions, Villanova, my boy had 26 points, 5 rebounds, 5 assists, and 2 steals. Like, in both of those games, 2-plus steals. Like, you can already see, like, on that that defensive side, off-ball defense, he's probably going to be, like, one of the top guards in the in the in the league one day maybe you never know like he could be one of those great fast break scores in transition scores like like stephen curry my boy just popped for the three shamari does have a little shot on him so he could just you know just pull up for threes you already know you know i really think shamari has a bright future ahead of him even if he goes if he goes back to college or if he goes to the nba and like you know Right now, he's projected at late first or second round pick. Like, I feel like whatever team he goes to, he's going to develop into, like, at least, like, a, a, a six man, a great six man that could, like, you know, eat up. But if I was one of those second round teams and I need a point guard off the bench or something to develop your, like, starting point guard, I would be picking this kid, no doubt about it. Like, he just has that fire in him. He's going to bring it to the table. You know, he shows up in the bright lights. You already know he showed up in a Duke game and a Villanova game. But you already know, like, I really believe that he could be a great six man to a championship team. An NBA player that I would compare him to is probably Mike Conley. You know, like, they're both point guards on a bad team. Like, they want to do anything for their team to win. Or they're good, decent defensive players. You know, Mike Conley's a better defensive player. But, you know, Shamari could develop into that. But you already know, like, my boy Shamari might even be thinking about going back to college for junior year. Like, I thought he was going to do that in the beginning. Play three years and then go to the NBA. But, you know, he just played two. He had a great season this year, though. So we'll see what he does. Comment right now. What do you think he'll do? Like, you know, like right now he doesn't even have an agent signed yet. So he has a decision to go back to college. Like I'm put up a, a tweet right here. That's pop sent out. Look at this right here. Basically, this guy, Zach, is talking about how Shamari Pond's father says he's coming back to St. John. So we hear it first. You know, like he says he has the information first, but we'll see what he does. If he goes to the NBA, where do you, what team do you think is going to pick him? Where do you think he's going to land? And if he goes back to college, you think that's a good decision? I think he should go back to yeah, college. Yeah, I think that going back to college would be a better decision for him because, you know, he'll just develop even more. Probably like a 25-point-per-game score, maybe seven assists, you know, better passer, become a way better defender, and, you know, get those five rebounds per game. You already know, like, he just improves every year. And we see more and more of this kid, like, even in high school, this guy took home a, a championship for Jefferson, like, Come on now, like he just has the DNA in him to win. Like he's a winning point guard. He just had like these two years with St. John's. They weren't very good. But you know, when he gets to the NBA court, he's probably gonna be a problem because he's already gonna be developing even crazier, man. Like right here, he's already working out with LA and Magic Johnson. And the next one, he's working out with Denver Nuggets. Like this kid is just has a mindset. He he wants to be night. He wants to be great. You know, he's already working out for the all season right here. He's already get them, getting them shots up, a thousand shots a day, probably getting the threes up. You already know he's trying to become a better NBA player. We just, we just better watch out. You know, if he goes back to college, we better watch out. 2019 draft. You know, even his draft class is even stacked. So if he says, yo, I'm trying to get drafted this year, yeah. I feel like his draft class probably has one of the best athletes we've probably seen in a long time. Like, they have potential to be one of the best draft classes. Like, they got. Trey Young, Marvin Bagley, DeAndre Ayton, Colin Sexton, Michael Porter Jr. Those are like people we're looking at in 10 years, 5 years. People that be all-stars, even superstars. But just as I'm finished editing this video, look what Shamari Pons posted, man. He's basically saying 
He's staying for one more year, staying in college for one more year. He's staying St. John's. I already know he's gonna eat up. How, drop right now in the comments. How many? How much y'all think he's gonna average? I'm thinking 25, 7, and 5. You already know this boy is improving every year. They could even maybe, maybe make it to the NCAA tournament. You know, that's a big statement right there, but I believe in my son, Shamari Pons. But drop in the comments right now what draft prospect, what college play, what high school play I should do next. But tune in for your boy, Shamari Pons. Top 10 picnics here, you already know. But I gotta give a shout out to my son, the biggest slick fan I know, Kate Bands. Follow him on Instagram. You already know. He talks about him every day. This is his pop. Like he's right 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 slick, slick, slick. <laughs> but Charlie, no, we out of here, man. Smart TV off this. Like, comment, subscribe, share to your friends, man. You dick.